So to me, a fantastic story, a great story. There's there's absolutely no backup in this uh, plant with fuels, uh, no diesel backup, propane backup, anything like that. The plant completely runs on landfill gas. To call it renewable hydro, the only way it's renewable energy is if you continue to build dumps. I think it would be good for the province if we didn't if we didn't put so much into landfill. Something we're really excited about, um, you know, for, for for many years, you're collecting methane and landfill gas off the landfills, um, and, and it's history to just destroy the gas. Went to task and, and built a uh, permitted a, a gas to energy plant. We have five um, Caterpillar engines in there, three V20s, two V16s and we generate around 6.4 megawatts of energy. So that's roughly uh, enough to generate power for about 6,000 homes. In 2007 it was really quite revolting, uh, the odour, and so some people have just not forgotten, and, and so we're, uh, we're really happy that the odour levels are down, but there are some people who, who are just really, they're still not trusting the, the setup. So I, think, I believe they're working hard at, at trying to resolve the issue of the leak chain as well. And it probably would be the tougher long-term one, in my view, to, to deal with. Now, waste management will tell you, well, you know, we've got this beautiful plant set up that takes methane gas and converts it into hydro. Okay, so when the methane gas runs out, where's the hydro? And if you stop the organics from going in the landfill, which is majority of the methane gas producers, where's the hydro? Do we have our opponents to our proposals? Absolutely. I mean, that's that's part of what we do. There is there is a you know, fairly low percentage of people in the community that, that have a real issue with uh, with landfilling uh, in their backyard. Uh, we believe we're in the right place. We're zoned for landfill. We're in a commercial corridor. We're there, we're surrounded by co uh, quarries, concrete plants. Um, you know, we're zoned here. We have the infrastructure, um, so we're here. We've been here for many years. So we believe it's the right thing to do. It's just to to expand the. the the facility that we have. Getting to the expansion issue, as I say, there's really two, two sides. One is one side says we should treat the stuff in our community, and the other group feel, look, we've done our share. Get it, put it someplace else. Mm -hmm. You know, waste management talks about um, 400,000 tons a year for 10 years. So people look at that and understand, think that it's only for 10 years. No, it's not. They have applied for 6.5 million cubic metric tons of space. If that takes them 10 years to fill or 20 or 100 years to fill, so be it. And keep in mind, as we start to divert more and as we start to use other technologies, you don't need that much space. I guess it's a... Uh... I don't want to say natural uh, byproduct of humanity, but it is. Mm -hmm. We all generate waste, some more than others. Um, you know, some recycle more than others. Some do a, f you know, I'm sure there's a very small percentage out there do a fantastic job of zero waste. I mean, that's, I think, is a goal that a lot of people have said, you know, we would like to hit zero waste. Is it possible? Maybe, in the future. Is it practical right now? I don't think so. Um, I hope to get to that point at some stage, as I think uh, most people do, but right now there's a, there's a need to, do, um, to, to deal with your waste. Like I said, we all generate it. Everybody puts a bag out on their day at the end of their laneway to be picked up. It's got to go somewhere. If, if the provinces approve the terms of reference, I would think it's probably it's certainly no slam dunk that it's going to happen, but I'd say it's probably better than 50% probable that there will be an expansion. In a best case scenario at that site, I want waste management to stay there because I want to hold their feet to the fire for the current site, okay, number one. Number two, waste management, if they had come with this terms of reference and said, we were gonna do 60% diversion from day one and whatever residual was waste was there, we were gonna you know, put it in a landfill, then the proposal may have been looked at sensibly by the community the present time that's not the case and until they come to that realization that diversion first landfilling after it's not going to go anywhere <laughs>